been waiting for this. So I was four. Southern Miss has finally get a go, made his three first time ever to go, so it's really great to be here. And so for Southern Mississippi to be in the College World Series, unreal. I've waited, he's waited four years, I've waited a lifetime. This is a great experience. That's been 45 years I've been waiting for this. So um, this is a dream. This is absolutely a dream. Man, we've been dreaming about this since we were real young kids to come to Omaha for the World Series and to be Southern Miss alumni and fans since we were toddlers. Man, this is just a dream come true. We would not pass it up for the world. The guys decided that, that they were going to get it done, and uh, we come a tough way through Georgia Tech, through Florida, but we're excited. Uh, we're playing well right now, and uh, people are going to be surprised how many fans from the University of Southern Mississippi are in those stands. Where there's a will, there's a way. And I always said, why not Southern Miss? I mean, you look at all these fans, they don't want to see a team that's number one ranked to win this thing. Uh, they want to see the underdog, the team that actually comes together, has a lot of fun. That's what we do. It's the day everyone's been waiting for. The Golden Eagles debut in Omaha. We'll wrap up the College World Series tonight on the night. I just I couldn't pass up the opportunity to come watch the Eagles take the field to Rosenblatt. Go Eagles! It's Southern Miss to the top. That's it. Go Eagles! The old coach, they're playing hard for him. When you're a player, you concentrate and you keep on doing that for him. I don't think he had any idea when he announced that he was going to leave after this year. This is where he would end up. Mr. Spence for Ooh. Arizona State today take one off like that. His was about six inches closer than that. He got it off the glove near the face. Sweet play right there by James Ewing. I'll tell you what, even with the double clutch. Under a, a truck that was carrying pounds of metal pipe. Aaron back to you in a second because the game has just been tied. Forget the small ball and moving guys around. Michael Ewing's second hit of the game clears the fences and it is 2-2. The park is playing big but not big enough to hold Michael Ewing in it. I'll tell you what, he gets the hips open. He starts with them open and then he closes with his stride and then he gets it going real good. That's one of those short kind of Jason Veritek swings from that side, just dropping the head and pounding it out of here. And that ball was crushed. It just made it out of here. That Double by yep. Keyes and that will run. Swing and a miss. So Keyes is retired for the second consecutive time after that first inning double. Bo Davis at the plate. Wood's first pitch gets away. Here comes the pinch runner, Smith. He scores. It's 4-3. to three. Southern Miss, which they have done in every tournament game so far, comes from behind. The 2-1. Single into right field. There is a miracle. Southern Miss is tight. Travis Tucker. A conversation with Adam Warren. He began to pound the strike zone, and he got too much of it on that pitch. B.A. Volmu takes him out, and all of a sudden, Southern Miss has got some life. Eight to three. B.A. Volmo's fifth home run of the NCAA tournament. Well, talking to Coach Barry this morning, come together. There's a ball in the middle of the plate. He just, at, the, at that height, he just gets great leverage. And, you know, and for people that see uh, Richie Sexton, that was. What did it feel like to go yard at Rosenblatt? It felt good. Hopefully, I get to do it again. We were already kind of on the map in the southeast, but I think nationally we're on the map now.
about midway through the season, we never would have thought we'd have been here. So it's been real magical and real fun. And uh, I'm just glad we sent our seniors and Coach Palmer out like this. We are in Omaha, and that was the goal from the beginning of the season. From the first time we met was to make it to Omaha. Going to Omaha, going past the regional stage, winning a Super Regional, you know, it's been the most satisfying year that uh, we've had, you know, in the last seven. But this was a capper for us to make this jump. Suck in yet? You're not going to put that thing on again? <laughs> uh, yeah. I told my wife, I said, <laughs> I, one day this week will be the last time I put it on. And she said she wore my jersey, so I reckon I got to give it to her. <laughs> this team has a charisma about them that's unique. And uh, they have a confidence about them and a maturity about them that's unique. And uh, they've really, they've really made us proud. They've really made Southern City proud. I love it. You know, I love all these guys, and hopefully, as a team, we'll come back to the Memorial Series with uh, the future Golden Eagles. But, you know, there's no other place I'd really go out than here in Rosenblatt Stadium. You know, it was, it was a magical run. It's sad it has to end, but uh, you know, we had the time of our lives. So. It's, it's been overwhelming for me, really. You know, God's blessed me in so many ways, and just to, you know, in my career like this, it's truly phenomenal. For me.